Okay, Lane, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So you've got your cover, Corona Sweden. I think you've got this really dark uh, overlay on the actual image itself. So it, I would remove that and just give us a full contrast image. I think that would be a lot more interesting. Um, not sure if this is the best image to use. I would give like a, a really nice image of mountains or something that really alludes to the fact that this is a, you know, you'll see the rings and you'll see the mountains. You'll know the viewer will immediately put it together that this is a, a presentation dealing with the Winter Olympics. Um, okay, page. Now, I notice you only have nine pages and in our um, in the project uh, overview, we recommended at least 20. Um, so I think that you're underdeveloped in that uh, in that regard. Um, so over here, you jump right into pattern designs and add banners. So there's no introduction whatsoever. There's really no, your phase one is non-existent. Remember phase one was all that research we did. So I'd like to see phase one research. Let me show you an example. Uh, remember this example right here. If we jump over here, um, here's all our phase one research. So you're, you know, a historical summary location. Remember all that research we did. So this is how you set up your story. So you'll have to include all of your phase one information instead of just jumping right in to our uh, design development stage where you start developing patterns and, and designs. Um, okay, next page. We jump right here to sign concept. Um, and that's fine. Um, I think this sign concept is good, but you, and then symbol, we've got symbol. So I would think that instead of going to sign concept, I think it would be better to go from phase one, uh, data research, uh, data gathering and research, um, to right to phase two, which is design development. And that's the logo. So then you can start going into areas where you're showing the logo in action. Okay, so I would definitely recommend doing that. Oh, don't forget your page uh, title, page, page, um, table of contents, um, sign concept, and, and a symbol. Now, the symbol, of course, is I think for this size page, your type is just, just enormous. Very, very big. If you were to type this page, uh, print this page, let me command R, bring out some. Okay, you're at 17 by 11 here, which means that is probably, boy, that's half inch type. Um, let me see, that would be, yeah, that's close to half inch. That's probably 20, 18 point size. And once this gets printed out, it's just going to be really unwieldy big. Um, so the symbol itself, as I said before, you, the symbol stands alone, which it shouldn't. The symbol should be accompanied by a word mark. In other words, Corona 2022 Olympics, with, and along with the rings as well. And I had mentioned that in the past. Um, this is inconsistent with this pre logo presentation is inconsistent with this logo presentation because the strokes here are extremely wide where the strokes here are very thin. So we'll need to some uh, consistency there. Um, let me see. I believe we have... We got some some spelling errors in your presentation, so that's critical. That's critical. Don't want to do that. Um, Olympic should be capitalized. Um, now you're saying you're describing and now the tickets. What I would do is I would describe the relevance of the visual tenor of the ticket and how that is relevant to your conceptual development. So instead of saying one way to forever remember the Olympic Games is to see a view of the land for yourself, one look at one of these tickets and you will see that beautiful winter landscape of Corona. But you're not explaining how these triangles, how everything ties in to your, your concept development. That's what we're looking for. That's the story we're looking for. Okay, pictograms look good. Um, Again, though, try to describe how these fit in with your concept. In other words, did you pick the shapes out of your logo or how did you develop these pictograms? Then finally, you have your poster and then you have um, a couple of placement shots. Um, I would recommend keep on working on this lane. I think that you're, you're pretty underdeveloped. There's not a whole lot of placement. I would not use this um, image for the background on every page. It's just too much. It's you know, get yourself some nice white pages and, you know, take this as an example, you know, work with this. That's why we provided it for you. So you can really take a look to see how you can develop these pages in a very, very interesting way. 
in that you're not inundating the viewer with too much information on each page. I think the background image is very distracting on each page. Not to mention, if you watch the background image, watch this. Watch the background image jump around every time I move the page. Okay, watch. There it jumps. There it jumps. There it jumps. There it jumps. See, it's moving around, so it's not it's not um, consistently placed on each page. So that's causing a, an, an uncomfortable visual tension as well. Okay, it's pictogram. Then we get to the poster and a couple of placement shots. Um, and then you just come to an end. So there's no credits. We need credits. We need a, 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 a page of credits um, for all of the images, as well as all the research that you've um, included in the piece as well. So again, I, I think they are very underdeveloped. I really think that in terms of a presentation, you definitely want to come over here, um, over here to messages. There's a, I left some really good things in here. Here's a, a demonstration on how to create and use a grid for your page. I also give a nice harmonious page size as opposed to using two eight and a half by 11 side by side. And then over here we have, um, We've got these examples. And again, I, I, I'm really, really interested in you stopping what you're doing and really taking a look at these examples and saying, how can I present my work in a way that's digestible, in a way that is not too cluttered, and in a way that tells a story and includes phase one, phase two, and phase three of the presentation. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.